Hey everyone, today's tutorial we will discuss about video ads. If you have a video player or you host or publish video content on your site, then this tutorial is for you. So let's begin with creating an ad unit. So on Google Ad Manager, you go to Inventory, Ad Units. Create a new ad unit. You can keep the parent ad unit as top level and give it a name. Just copy for the code. And you can keep it at fixed size. Then you go ahead and enter the vast sizes in here. For example, I'll first choose 400 by 300. And I'll also choose 640 by 480. So I have two possible or flexi sized ad unit. Now companion sizes, it's optional, but you can definitely define some sizes in here if you want a regular display ad unit to display or show up around your video player. What happens is, for example, this is your website. And let's say you have a video player in here. Now, if you have a regular ad size, for example, a 300 by 250 here, then the companion size can show up or display here when the master serves. So the companion ad here is dependent on the master, which means the only time this can serve is if the master serves. So let's say we define 300 by 250 here as a companion size. And we also define 336 by 280. That's good to go. And let's say for this one, I'll define 728 by 90 as my companion size. Another thing you need to remember as well for this to be eligible is that this ad size should also be defined or is deployed on that display ad. So for example, this ad right here, which is a regular display ad, should carry or be configured with a 300 by 250 size. Or if you have another ad here, which is a 336 by 280, then the other companion here will be eligible to serve here. This one can be eligible to serve here. Or if not, for example, let's say this ad here doesn't exist, but this ad right here is configured to have both sizes, let's say 300 by 250 and 336 by 280, then they can be eligible to serve in here for as long as the master serves. So in short, before a companion size can serve, there should be a display ad somewhere here on the page that is also configured for those sizes. Target window can still be blank, so if users click on it, it opens on a new tab, keeping the site still open, increasing your user time on page, and your ads viewability. You can keep AdSense disabled if you don't want to run AdSense on dynamic allocation in the ad unit level. The rest are optional here, and you click on Save. Generate the video tag, go ahead and open the ad unit you just created. Go to Tags. Choose Google Publisher Tag for Video and Audio. Continue. Now, if you want to use this ad unit for live traffic, meaning if you do a live streaming and you want to run ads in there as well, you turn this on. Select the player SDK you're using. Click Continue. Now, many of the settings here are optional, but I'll discuss the ones that are very essential or that are important. So for the description URL, just go ahead and put your site domain. Minimum ad duration in seconds here means if you specify a value here, you're only accepting ads that meet the criteria. Same with the maximum ad duration. So let's say for example, I mentioned five here for the minimum, and I would say 30 seconds for the maximum. Then any ads or video ads that are less than five seconds or more than 30 seconds in length will not be eligible to serve. 
So if you don't want to put any of those restrictions to increase demand as well, you can go ahead and leave it out. If you want to enable add fallback, go ahead and keep this on. What that means is, for example, the first creative failed, then it goes to the next one, calls the next creative. If it still fails, it calls the next one again until it successfully fetches an ad. And go ahead and check out the tooltip here for more information. If you are publishing content that is child-directed, go ahead and turn this on. Now for the video type or format, linear ads are those that appear before, after, or during a break in a video content. Non-linear ads are those that appear during a video content playback without disrupting playback. Go ahead, click continue. Go ahead and copy this tag and deploy it into your video player. To test it, you can go ahead and check out these links right here at the bottom. Additional troubleshooting tip, you can also use the delivery tool under the delivery tab and select in-stream video and audio ad right here. Next, create an order and line item. So go to delivery orders, create an order, Add a new line item, then for the ad type, select video or audio. Give it a name. Select your line item type, select the sizes. The companion sizes. Set the start time and the end time. Set up your targeting. Click on save. Now go to the creatives tab. Click add creative. For the creative format, you can select whether it's in-stream or overlay or both. The rest are optional. Go ahead and click on save. Go ahead, create more line items as needed. Depending on how many demand partners or ad networks you are setting up for your video ad unit, you can also compete them or set up price priority line items targeting the ad unit. And of course, if it's the first time you created the order, don't forget to approve it. And that's it for a tutorial today. I will be following up with more tutorials about video ads. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe if this video helped you. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.